Step into the precinct of a classic TV gem, Barney Miller. While this beloved series graced screens back in the day, did you know that it was crafted from real-life experiences of a former NYPD detective? Fascinating, isn't it? The show's authenticity stemmed from its creator's first-hand encounters, lending an air of genuine wit and humor to the precinct's daily escapades. Curious about the behind-the-scenes tales? There's a plethora of lesser-known facts and anecdotes surrounding the show that might pique your interest. From improvised scenes that became fan favorites to the diverse ensemble cast that breathed life into the precinct's quirky characters, there's more than meets the eye when delving into Barney Miller's production. Now, do you hold a cherished memory or personal experience tied to this series? Share your stories and reminisce about the moments that made Barney Miller unforgettable in the comments below. Your tales could be just as delightful as the show itself. Tell us your Barney Miller stories and memories in the comments below. Set in the 12th precinct of New York City, Barney Miller unfolded as a groundbreaking sitcom that brought an unconventional yet riveting perspective to television. Premiering in the mid 70s seconds, the show emerged from the creative minds of Danny Arnold and Theodore J. Flicker. The narrative centered on the life and work of Captain Barney Miller, adeptly portrayed by Hal Linden, navigating the daily challenges of policing amidst the diverse, quirky ensemble of detectives under his command. Each episode unfolded within the precinct's confines, capturing the mundane and often humorous aspects of police work. The roster of detectives, featuring the likes of the philosophical Detective Fish, the endearing and nerdy Detective Harris, the streetwise Detective Wadshahovit, and the versatile Detective Dietrich, formed an eclectic, cohesive unit with distinct personalities that resonated with audiences. What set Barney Miller apart was its departure from conventional sitcom formats. It thrived on its witty, dialogue-driven scripts that delved into social and political issues of the era with a deft touch, creating a unique blend of comedy and social commentary. The show's setting within the precinct became a microcosm of the world outside, tackling topics ranging from societal changes, politics, and cultural shifts with a refreshing authenticity. The impact of Barney Miller on popular culture was substantial. Its adept handling of topical themes and its memorable characters not only endeared it to audiences, but also set a benchmark for future ensemble-driven sitcoms. Its influence extended beyond the screen, shaping the portrayal of law enforcement in the entertainment landscape and leaving an indelible mark on the sitcom genre. The show's uniqueness stemmed from its theatrical approach. Almost all episodes were confined to a single set, depicting the precinct's various spaces. This departure from traditional TV setups was a deliberate choice, showcasing the squad room, office, and occasionally, the restroom within a singular setting. Out of the 170 episodes produced, a mere 13 deviated from this single stage design. This approach lent an intimate, almost theatrical quality to the series, setting it apart from its contemporaries. The precinct became a microcosm of the outside world, where societal issues and engaging dialogues took center stage, often transcending the mundane confines of police work. This distinctive setup, emphasized by a static location, provided a canvas for the show's nuanced exploration of social and political themes, cementing its significance in television history. The fictional 12th Precinct, where much of the series unfolded, held a unique significance not just for the show itself, but also for subsequent television productions. Interestingly, this precinct wasn't just a set confined to the realm of Barney Miller. Its reconstruction and utilization extended beyond the show's era. The distinct layout and design of this precinct became a template that found its way into another cop show, Castle. The essence of the precinct, with its spaces meticulously detailed and reconstructed, lived on, becoming a familiar backdrop in a different narrative, demonstrating the lasting impact and influence of the original series. Ron Carey, embodying Levitt's character in Barney Miller, sought a signature move to distinguish his role. A subtle yet consistent action became his trademark whenever Levitt exited the squad room. Every time he left, his manner of opening the door with his left hand positioning himself against the door's edge, and rotating around it before shutting it became a characteristic gesture, adding a unique touch to the character's presence within the precinct. 
These intricate details, whether through the precinct's design or the actor's subtle nuances, contributed to the show's depth and left an enduring legacy in both its direct and indirect influence on television. This series, among the many cop shows of its time, gained exceptional recognition among real-life police officers for its authentic depiction of their daily realities. It stood out amidst the TV landscape for its realistic portrayal of police work, resonating deeply within law enforcement circles. Unlike other shows that dramatized the profession, the series earned praise for its accuracy and relatability, becoming a benchmark in capturing the essence of police life. This authenticity wasn't confined solely to its portrayal of police work. Surprisingly, a handful of episodes deviated from the precinct setting, offering glimpses beyond the station's walls. These rare departures showcased scenes outside the usual confines, providing a fresh perspective while maintaining the series' core essence. These instances offered a unique insight into the characters' lives beyond their work environment, offering viewers a broader view of their world. Moreover, its impact extended far beyond its immediate audience. It served as a significant inspiration for subsequent cop shows, notably influencing the creation of the groundbreaking series Hill Street Blues. The essence of this show became so pivotal that Hill Street Blues was initially pitched as a reflection of Barney Miller's set in an outdoor setting. In summary, this series not only resonated deeply with law enforcement professionals, but also left an enduring mark on the cop show genre, serving as a reference point for authenticity in portraying the complexities of police work. Some of the recurring actors from the show later appeared in Reinhold Weege's Night Court. This overlap between the casts of two beloved sitcoms highlighted the talent and versatility of these actors. It showcased their ability to bring life to different characters across distinct yet equally popular series. This seamless transition from one iconic show to another became a testament to their acting prowess and cemented their places in television history, connecting two significant sitcoms in the viewers' minds. The familiarity of these actors resonated with audiences, adding an extra layer of connection and nostalgia to Night Court for fans of Barney Miller, enriching the viewing experience for those who followed their careers. As we draw the curtains on this tribute to a classic TV gem, it's the moments that echo in our hearts that truly stand the test of time. The captivating camaraderie of the precinct, the laughter threaded in the banter, and the subtle lessons veiled in its wit all conspire to create an enduring connection with a show that resonates through the years. Perhaps you found solace in its humor during a tough week, or maybe its ensemble cast felt like old friends gathered in your living room. Whatever the imprint it left on your life, now's the moment to relive those cherished snippets, those hilarious exchanges, or poignant scenes that nestled within your memory. We invite you to join in this symphony of reminiscence. Share your thoughts, your anecdotes, the moments that etched Barney Miller's essence into your story. Let's weave a collective tapestry of nostalgia, celebrating the impact this show had on us all. Thank you for lending us your attention, for revisiting those treasured moments, and for being a part of this journey down memory lane. Your reflections enrich this shared experience. With appreciation for your time and enthusiasm, 